back students <laughs> so we've already completed aldol condensation topic in aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid chapter so let me come back and do the cross aldol condensation so whenever you're learning aldol and cross aldol <laughs> remember first try to practice the aldol condensation that's the same everywhere it's an extension of your aldol condensation the most important requirement for aldol condensation is the combining molecule should have alpha hydrogen right for cross aldol also it's the same thing they should have they should possess alpha hydrogen that's the most important thing and now what's the difference between aldol and cross aldol in aldol we have two similar aldehydes combining isn't it or two similar ketones combining but here in cross aldol it can be <coughs> two uh, different aldehydes it can be two different aldehydes for example <coughs> it can be ethanol and it can be or ethanaldehyde or it can be propanaldehyde two different right now it can also be between two different ketones right for example the same thing if i take propanone propanone no, higher uh, ketone if i take <coughs> butanone right? so two different ketones suppose if it can also be a combination between an aldehyde and a ketone suppose if i take propanone right i can pick up an acetaldehyde or ethanaldehyde not a problem so basically can a uh, cross aldol is between aldehyde aldehyde different ketone ketone different right aldehyde or ketone so all should be different please remember that don't write same then it will be if you write same it will become right already it is different right this is your combination now basically whenever you're doing cross aldol condensation most important thing you have to remember is as i said if you you should have two different molecules now i'm going to pick up uh, an aldehyde combination if i am doing the same it's the same for your ketone also then we will do for uh, aldehyde and ketone now i'm going to start with two different aldehyde combination two different aldehydes condensation okay so as i said you require the presence of a base isn't it base what is the use of the base base is going to help in the formation of enolate ion and elimination of water molecule so the same story again whenever you're mixing up <coughs> ch3 cho and you're mixing up propanaldehyde okay one two three right so ch3 ch2 when you're mixing basically you're getting two four different uh, uh, compounds right so first try to name this this is called acetaldehyde and this is one two three it is called propanaldehyde right now acetaldehyde and propanaldehyde when they combine they're going to give me or render four different products one two three why because it's a combination isn't it we are crossing it right so what are the four different products we will first solve it and then come back so basically when i speak about this particular reaction which is also given in your textbook the first combination is aldehyde and aldehyde combination aldehyde and aldehyde so let me see your ch3 c O and H. Okay, if you want to write this O in the side, this side also not a problem. Right? Please practice aldol first, then come to cross aldol. Please, you'll get confused otherwise. Yes. Now combine one more aldehyde group. Group <coughs> C H O C H. I'm writing one H here in this. Yeah. Now, as we have studied, one is going to shift here. This becomes minus to two. Uh, then. This also cleaves at this particular point and hydrogen comes and attacks this. This is what we have done in alcohol. So what do I get? I get CH3, C, H is still there, your OH because it's a shift there. <coughs> so uh, CH2, CH2. Okay. Now this is basically like this, isn't it? Now the same story again. I'm going to take out or write H2 as this. Now what happens? Water and this comes out as this dehydration now you're going to take out water now what's going to happen when you're eliminating water <laughs> the bond this is already there isn't it now this bond is going to shift means it is like this isn't it basically your uh, bond which is there comes out with this water and there's one bond here with this it's going to shift so what do we get ch3 c h double bond ch ch2 this is our first 
compound right so if you're getting confused writing like this i've written in aldol if you find this is difficult this also will do how is how can you write this see here you can write ch3 c o h h single c h hydrogen and yes see here you can write and eliminate water and drop in this bond here this also is correct right so this all should happen in the presence of a base isn't it yeah now let us write the second set now first set is what aldehyde plus aldehyde now i'm going to take <coughs> which aldehyde i took the first one now take the second one now propanaldehyde propanaldehyde plus propanaldehyde super Aldehyde. Okay, now take the molecule. Propanaldehyde, CH3, CH2, C, double bond O, H. Propanaldehyde. Now combine with one more propanaldehyde. Now write like this. Please remember, try propanaldehyde is 1, 2, 3 carbons or 1, 2, 3 carbons, isn't it? Now here one is over. Write the second one like this and the third one like this so that you will not get confused. Why did I say that? Because only the alpha hydrogen will shift to this. Yeah, so most of the students, they pick up hydrogen from here, wrong. This is adjacent to the functional group, so alpha hydrogen from here should shift here. So in step one, this is going to shift. So this hydrogen, what will happen from here is going to shift to this particular oxygen. What do I get? I get in the presence of a base, I get CH3, CH2, COH, isn't it? This has shifted <coughs> and single bond down. Then again, this has become only CH because it was earlier CH2, isn't it? It, it was earlier CH2, 1H has gone here. So CH, again CH3 is still existing, CHO. Both alcohol and aldehyde, both present, aldol. Now, dehydration, where does it go? Now, this H, whatever is there, comes out with this OH, right? <coughs> Sorry. And now this bond, whatever is here, drops in. What do I get? I get CH3, CH2, C, double bond. There is one H still existing here. C, again CH3 and CHO. And do the third combination. <clears throat> we have already done aldehyde, aldehyde, similar. This is <coughs> your two similar aldehydes. So these two are called self-aldol condensation. This is called self-aldol condensation. This is also called self-aldol condensation product. Right. Now we are going to see the cross aldol. What am I going to do? I am going to first pick up acetaldehyde plus propanaldehyde combination. The fourth one would be the reverse of this. Propanaldehyde plus acetaldehyde. That's it. What should I do? I have to take first acetaldehyde, take CH3, now oxygen above and H here. Now I am going to take propanaldehyde. Always remember whenever you are writing propanaldehyde, try to <coughs> write your alpha hydrogen adjacent to this plus because you get confused from where to you remove, right? So CH2 is your alpha hydrogen, CH3, C. Now this is CHO, now this is CH3, now this is your alpha hydrogen. Now in the step 1, one hydrogen from here is going to shift, when this shifts here, isn't it? That is what we have been doing, now in the presence of a base. What do I get? I am going to get your CH3 is here and your C. H is still here, O H, and now once you reach the step, try to write that hydrogen one already one has lost, isn't it? This should be CH two, so there will be one hydrogen here. Try to write it above, so CH two. You will get one more aldol here. There is CH three. Now come back. You have to remove eliminate water molecule. This water that is the reason I asked you to write above eliminates. What do you get? You have your CH three. Your CH is still existing. This bond is going to shift here. This carbon is attached to your CH3 group and CHO. Let us count the valency. For this carbon, 4. For this carbon, 4. This is done. Let us do the last combination that is propanaldehyde plus acetaldehyde. So, propanaldehyde, CH2. <coughs> now, your whichever is uh, your whichever hydrogen is shifting should be like uh, should be in this side and that should be alpha hydrogen and the oxygen should be above that's important your oxygen above the next one i have to take acetaldehyde acetaldehyde this is your ch2 and your h now this is going to shift here and this hydrogen will come and shift here simple so what do i get now in the presence of a base i get ch3 ch2 c OH, 
yes and there is a h still attached to carbon you're going to attach with now please be careful when you're trying to when you come to the step i as i said write that h above so that it is easy for you to show that water elimination eliminate water when you eliminate water this bond is going to drop in here what do you get you get ch3 you have ch2 here you have ch in the center there's one more double bond you have ch and ch so, okay i'm done with all the four products let us name the products now procedure is the same for everything if you learn aldol cross aldol is easy first important thing now i should tell you one more thing here what happened it is between two al different aldehydes so this is called cross aldol product this is also called cross aldol product this one cross aldol product so name it how should you name it one we should get minimum number one two three four yes now four which four is it after two you have a double bond so <coughs> but so two after two you have a double bond two but enal okay in some books suppose if you is fighting in some books like this this is also not a problem but two enal okay this also is correct let us name the second one one two three four five it is spent parent chain is spent but you have a substituent here start with your substituent two methyl two methyl no which come which what is the parent atom uh, pent isn't it it's two methyl pent which enol is it after two you have enol pent two enol the third one one two three four but which but it is two methyl and after second carbon you have double bond two things you have tried start with methyl group it is two methyl so the parent chain is four so here you have got pent i got i'm getting but here but after two you have double bond two enol same products here pent here but okay now last start numbering it one two three four five yes so it is pent which pent it is two so write down pent to enol that's it all four are cross aldol products products so in the in your uh, textbook they have just given this particular reaction they have given four products this is how you will get all the four products so please note cross aldol condensation after you learn aldol condensation